Hello everyone out there, I'm Chewy and this is TMP News. It turns out there are several possible reactions to a nice long ban by the DCI. You can be butthurt about getting busted on social media, like Trevor Humphreys did. You can immediately have an interview with a major news source where you stress your innocence with a series of awkward and questionable arguments like former <laughs> Rookie of the Year Jared Botcher, or you could just straight up disappear like Alex Bertoncini did. If you do this, you get bonus points for a sick burn from Brad Nelson. Just pause and read that. Trust me on this. Magic could potentially be going through a name change in the recent future. It's going to be known as Magic. I hope you like Treasure Cruise. It turns out Ancestral Recall is a really good card, even at sorcery speed and with the added cost of exiling your graveyard. Good enough to run rampant across pretty much all the formats. Even vintage. Even vintage. Expect lots of complaining, and maybe even some bannings, maybe, in the near future. Be sure to get yourself a wizard's account. Your wizard's account merges a lot of various other wizards-based accounts. Like your Planeswalker Points account, and presumably, presumably, presumably some other things too, or something. So go get your Wizards account today to make all of your online whatever easier. Easier for whom? I don't actually know, but go get it, you know, if you want, whatever. And don't screw up and accidentally give yourself the wrong DCI number. That can happen. That can happen. The full deck lists for Commander 2014 are out there for everyone to see. There's some good old stuff, awesome old characters, amazing new art, and weird and interesting new cards. Buy all our playsets and toys. I'm a consumer whore. And how. And of course, hot off the wheels of finishing up the Commander 2014 preview season, Watsy went to PAX Australia and began the Fate Reforged preview season. It never ends. The next dual decks, Elspeth vs. Kiora, might be the first dual decks to go for more than MSRP. I think. I'm pretty sure. But then again, it'll be sold at big box retailers like Target and Walmart, so maybe not. If your card shop does jack up the price, just go to Target. And surprising absolutely no one that was paying attention, Wizards has announced that the next set after Fate Reforged will be Dragons of Tarkir. Temmies everywhere erupted in massive nerdgasms. Yay, dragons! I was, I was one of those Temmies, I'm not gonna lie. I love me some dragons. I love them. Also announced at PAX Australia is the presence of the Ugin's Fate packs at the Fate Reforged pre-release. These packs will contain four cards with alternate art. One token, one land, and two other cards. Mostly cons cards, a few from Fate Reforged, one mythic, we don't know what it is yet, and that's really all we know right now, so... So that's the news for this week. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to let me know what you think, how you like, what I missed, your opinions, all that good stuff. And be sure to check out everything else we do here on The Mana Pool over at themanapool.com. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, go play some magic.